questions surrounding why Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives agents raided the home of Little Rock Airport Director are starting to finally be answered. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. Brian Malinowski died from his injuries in a shootout with ATF agents earlier this week that also resulted in a federal agent being injured. And according to an affidavit unsealed yesterday, federal authorities allege he unlawfully sold guns without a license. But that question is still being investigated. Our Neil Zerang looking closer at what's commonly referred to as the gun show loophole. There's been a lot of debate about what they call a gun show loophole. Where's the line when a private gun seller becomes a business? Attorneys will tell you it's a topic debated often, but there are clear rules for what either has to do. As it stands right now, the only time that you are required to do a background check is whenever you have an FFL. A federal firearms license allows a person to sell guns commercially, but anyone can sell a gun privately. While FFL holders are required to keep a thorough record of all transactions and perform a background check to ensure guns don't get into the hands of those who have lost their rights to possess a firearm, private sellers don't. You don't have to ask those questions if you're a private seller. No, you, you don't have to. It would be like if my dog had had puppies and I was selling the puppies to you. I don't have to do a background check to see are you a person that has abused animals in the past. The question ATF looks at is why are you selling guns? If you're buying and selling repeatedly, predominantly to earn a profit, they won't consider you a private seller. In Malinowski's case, federal agents claim he bought as many as 24 guns at once, saying they were for him, and would then resell the just purchased guns in as little as 24 hours. With what he was dealing with, there was, there was a volume that went along with the speed that his stuff was being sold. And that obviously is what piqued the interest of the ATF. 